All right, guys, so here's the review of the new 2021 Pagani Design PD1662. So you think you might have seen this one before, you haven't, so don't click off just yet. So this is the new root beer colour, so that means it's an homage of the Rolex GMT Master 2. So I got this, I think it was about four days ago now. I've been testing it out because it's released on AliExpress a couple of days ago. So it's literally just come out. So I got it a bit earlier to get this review done in time for that. So because of that, I got it sent for free, didn't have to pay for it. They contacted me, asked me if I wanted to review it. So I agreed. But as always, that doesn't mean I'm going to be promoting it. If there's something wrong with it, I'm going to keep it 100% honest all the time and let you know if there's any issues. So now all that's out of the way, let's get down to it. So here it is. It comes in the usual old style Pagani box. And then we've got cleaning cloth. Got the watch, pop that to one side for a minute. Show you what else is in here quickly. So we've got a little Pagani tag. User manual. Guarantee card, which isn't dated or stamped, so not much use. And then the links I've taken out. So I've taken three out of this. And then they are actually screw links. But let's get down to the bit you're actually here for, the watch. So here it is. And like I said in the intro, this is actually brand new, this one. New release for this year. And you can probably tell, this is an homage of the Rolex GMT Master 2 root beer. So this is the new colour for this year. I think it was released just a few days ago. So I got it a little bit early, so I could get this review done and then get it out in time for that. So we've got that really nice, well, not gold, but bronzy kind of colour. Which I do quite like, actually. When I first saw the pictures, I wasn't too sure. I thought it might have been a little bit too blingy for me, but I've been wearing it for a bit and I do actually quite like it. It is definitely growing on me. And then you got that nice ceramic bezel as well. With the root beer colours. I've had to get a quick zoom in on that so you can see it in a bit more detail. And it is really nicely done as well. No issues with that at all. All really crisp and cleanly done. And then we've got the matching bezel colour as well, and crown, which is a nice touch. They've even matched the hands as well, which I do like. And even the bit around the indices is the same colour too. So it just ties together really nicely. It does really look good. And it is just something a little bit different as well. So we'll quickly talk about the dimensions now. So we've got a thickness of 12.4, but if I include the Cyclops, it's more like 13.6. Then we've got a diameter of 40mm, lug width of 20mm, lug to lug of 48 but because we have got female and uh, sorry, male end links, not female end links, they protrude slightly further. So the effective lug to lug is more like 52.7. But then again, you expect that with this kind of style of watch. Because that is just the way they are. But you'll probably know they still wear quite well, despite that slightly large lug to lug. Well, effective lug to lug. So let's quickly test now whether we've got sapphire crystal on this before we talk about it a bit more. Using the trusty Dan selector too. So, yep, yeah, we've got sapphire there. Quickly test out the Cyclops. That's also sapphire, which is nice to see. We don't always get that. And then quickly test out this. See where the, the back is as well. And that's just a mineral crystal on the back. But you kind of expect that. So, seeing as we're talking about that now, let's quickly show you the case back on this. So, it is a really nice display case back on this with that custom Pagani design router. So we've got the water resistant 100 meter around the side, stainless steel Pagani design. 
I'll quickly flick it the other way, you can actually see the movement a bit better. So the movement in this is a Pearl DG5833 GMT. So obviously got that GMT movement, but I'll show you that in a minute when we talk about the movement a bit more. Show you it in action. And then we've got solid end links, as you'd expect with Pagani. And it's, it's really nicely done. They haven't decorated the movement, but I do like that they've put a custom rotor in there. With a, well, what's trying to be a blue screw, but I think it's just blue. Not actually heat treated, but it still looks good. So this is one of the slight issues I've got with this, because we have actually got, if I zoom back in again, those inner micro adjusts, which are quite fiddly to get to, and I've been struggling with this one in particular. So we've got the little suede extension type thing there, but with this, I can't actually get this out to be able to adjust it on that micro adjust, which is a little bit annoying, because it doesn't quite fit me as nicely as I'd like. It's either slightly too big or slightly too small. I would like to move it up one, but that might be, I got a bit of an unlucky one, because that is just really awkward to get out. I'll probably leave a picture on screen to show you exactly what it's like in a close up. But suffice to say, you can use this instead. So it's not a major issue. It's, it's workable. And again, like I say, Pagani design on there. And we've also got the sign crown as well. So I'll quickly talk about this bezel, because it do quite like this. 120 click, and it's ceramic, like I said. And it is absolutely rock solid. Really nice. No playing it at all. And it does line up perfectly as well. So I'm really happy with that. I'm also really happy with the Cyclops as well. That's perfectly aligned, doing its job nicely. All the text on the dial is printed. So we've got the Pagani Design logo at the top, Pagani Design written under that. We have got a matching colour for the GMT text, which is nice. Then we've got automatic, water resistant, 10 bar, 100 meter. I probably would have liked slightly less text, but it's not too bad. Personally, I'd like to see them just use the Pagani Design logo now. Or just the name, one or the other. I don't really think you need both. And also, I don't really think you need the automatic on there either. I'd get rid of that. But other than that, not too bad. So I'll zoom back out now. Show you this movement in action. So we've got a screw down crown. Pop it out once, change the date, pop it out again, second hand stop, so we've got hacking. And then obviously we can change the time. And then the GMT hand will actually move with that. But then if I set that there, pop it back in, second hand re-engages obviously. But then if we turn it the other way, oh my god, pull that out, sorry, to the date position, turn it the other way. And then we can independently move the GMT hand. And then that will be set to whatever position you've set it to. And it will follow along. And screw it back in. So, no issues with that. So now, let's talk about that loom. So you can just about see it a little bit, but as always, charge it up, give it a proper chance.
And there we go. So I was actually pleasantly surprised with the link on this. Compared to a lot of Pagani's I've tried recently, I'd say this was quite a bit better. It's really evenly applied across the indices and the hands, no patchiness at all. You've not got one brighter than the other as well. They stay the same kind of brightness as each other, which is always good. And it does actually last a bit longer than quite a few other Pagani's I've tried. Is it brilliant loom? No, it's not. But it's a big step up from previous Pagani's in my opinion. At least the ones I've tried out. So it's definitely usable loom. But again, don't be buying it just for that, obviously. But definitely, they're going in the right direction. So, all that's left to do now is show you what it's like on wrist. So, this is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. As I say, this is slightly larger than I'd like it. I would like it a touch tighter, but I can't quite get that micro adjust to work in that clasp, the inner micro adjust. So, at the moment, I'm wearing slightly larger, but I might try wearing it with one more link removed and maybe use that suede extension bit and try it like that. Maybe get a better fit that way. But at the moment, with it being quite nice and quite warm, surprisingly here in the UK, I might actually keep it like this because it's quite handy when I get a bit hot. As for the rest of the watch, the bezel action is definitely improved from previous Pagani's, as is the loom. They've definitely stepped things up with those two, which are the two main issues you tend to have with Pagani's in my opinion. Other than that, they are really nice. I would have preferred maybe an easy glide style system for the micro adjust, but other than that, not really a lot to complain about. So if you do like this colour, links will be down in the description if you want to pick one up as always. But that's it for this one guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.